Hey, this is Ernesto, and today we're taking a look at Volcano 3 from FabFilter. Volcano 3 is a filter plugin that combines the sound of old school analog filters with the versatility you expect from any FabFilter plugin. In this review, I'll show you around the interface, I'll show off some key features, and give you my final thoughts on it so you can figure out if this plugin is right for you. So let's check it out. Right off the bat, Volcano 3 interface is super simple and it's very streamlined. So even when it's your first time opening it, um, you can just jump right in there. You can add up the four EQ style filters by clicking anywhere around here. And with each filter, you can pick from a few different shapes, different slope options ranging from 6 dB to 48 dB. And one unique thing about Volcano is that there's 11 filter styles to choose from. And these filter styles are a big deal because they offer you that unique color that comes from analog gear. So as you boost or cut with the filter, try out different filter styles to see how it can affect your sound's character. So I have this loop here, this little ARP, and I have this uh, filter node turned off, which is on the classic style. And let's hear how it makes things sound. So already you can hear before, after, and let's cycle through some other, like raw for instance. That sounds a little bit different there, hard, extreme. Gentle, we don't hear anything really. So anyways, all these different filter styles is a great way to see what kind of character you add to your sounds. As you're watching this, you might be wondering why Volcano 3 seems to look like and work like an EQ. And I think you're right. I think Volcano 3 is blending that line between an EQ and a filter. Volcano 3 can color your sound like a filter, but can also boost and cut like an EQ. It may not be as precise or flexible as something like Pro-Q 3, but I find that it gets most jobs done. All right, time to talk about the biggest reason why you'd probably want to splurge on this plugin, and that's all the ways that you, can, that you can modulate pretty much every parameter inside of Volcano 3. And even though complex filter modulation isn't a big part of my sound design process, uh, Volcano 3 just makes it so easy and enticing that it makes me kind of want to start adopting it. All right, let me show you some of my favorite ways to modulate inside of Volcano 3. Uh, I have this guitar loop right here. I have it on the default setting. I'm not going to do anything too crazy with it. But what I will do is drop the frequency down. And let's say I want this uh, node here to modulate back and forth. No problem. Click Add Modulation, New LFO, and then click this node, drag it to Frequency, boom. And now it's going back and forth. If you want to adjust um, the frequency, do that here. And then uh, with this little shape here, you can adjust how that shape looks. And you can add up to 16 steps in this um, LFO, which is kind of complex. Um, that was getting annoying. So let's add in another modulation thing here, which is the XY controller. Great. And then what I like to do with the XY is I can do frequency with the X, Y on the resonance here. So as I go left and right, the frequency will be adjusted left and right there. And as I go up, the peak gets sharper. And I want, I want that peak to get a little bit more crazy. There we go. Boom. So now let's hear how that kind of sounds. So if you want to do some like draw some automation or do something live with this XY, this is great. Like I said, modulation inside of filters is really new to me. And that's why I'm showing these very, very simple examples. Um, but if you want to see more complex ways to do modulation, not a problem. Click the presets menu, go to modulation and you have some really um, great presets that are geared towards modulation. One of my favorites is deep to the chorus. And quick fact, if you ever see BM or RV behind these presets, that's the initials of the person who created the preset. So yeah, there you go. So it's deep, slow chorus. Love this plugin. Look at all this modulation going on. Hear how it makes that guitar sound now. That sounds, so that's pretty good. Bypass, nice and clean. Bring it back in. And of course I have these sliders, I want to make it more wet, speed it up, slow it down, move the center frequency even. Yeah, so these modulation presets are super helpful. It's great to learn from or just great to use. Oh, and if you're liking this video, if it's helping you out so far, please um, like it. By liking this video, it helps me know that I'm serving you the best way that I can. All right, time for my final thoughts about this plugin. But before I get to that, I want to tell you the price and where you can get it. At full price, Volcano 3 is $129 US. There's some discounts if you own Volcano 2 or other FabFilter plugins, so be sure to check that out as well. 
But if you're really thinking about getting this plugin, then please consider clicking my affiliate link down below. Um, the commission I get from each of those sales is just fuel that helps this channel keep going. So is this plugin right for you? Well, let's go through some pros and cons. Volcano 3 is really, really easy to use, even if you're new to filters. I thought the filter styles were really great for adding color and character to your sounds in a really simple and effective way. The modulation capabilities are really powerful while staying really easy to use. And here are some cons. I do wish it was easier to draw the LFO shapes in here. It was a little finicky. I felt like I had to work on getting the hang of it when I really just want to click dots and make the shape however I want. And then even though everyone should use filters in some kind of way, there's just so much here in Volcano 3 that it might be overkill for your needs. So who is Volcano 3 for and why should they buy it? I think this plugin is perfect for producers who use filters on the regular as one of their main music production tools. Whether they use it for sound design or mixing and mastering, if filters are important to you, then you're gonna love this plugin because it's sort of a ultimate filter plugin. However, if you're new to filters or don't plan on making filters a big part of your process, then this plugin may not be right for you and maybe try sticking with your DAWs stock filter or the filter in like Serum or whatever soft synth that you use. Okay, so that's my review on Volcano 3. If you're enjoying what you're learning, please like and subscribe to the channel. It'll help other music makers find it. Um, thanks so much for watching. Later.